Hello, good morning. It is Friday, Easter Friday. Alleluia. Christ is risen. I invite you to join me and join with one another as we pause for a moment and be still and know that God is with us. Let us give thanks to God for this day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us give thanks to God because God is with us. Wherever we are, whatever we're doing, God is with us. And because God is with us, we can bring to God those things which trouble us or frustrate us or frighten us. And know that God is with us. God is holding us. God knows and God cares. This week, we're using signs of life from the world around us as the starting point for our little thoughts. So far, we've had chickens. This is an eagle. We've had sheep. We've had flowers. We've had deer, thirsty deer. There's a reindeer. Today, we're thinking about seeds, sowing seeds and reaping the fruit. A few weeks ago, we planted some seeds. These are sunflower seeds that have now grown into a little plant. It's not too late if you still want to plant some. And our psalm this morning speaks to us about sowing seeds and reaping the harvest. From Psalm 126. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the desert. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping with carrying seeds to sow will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. I don't know about you, but at times, at the moment, I certainly find myself feeling sad. I've shed tears at the state of the world, the state of missing people, missing things, missing being able to go out and do as I want. I find myself feeling sad. Life is hard going at the moment. We may feel sad. But we still have hope that things will not always be as they are at the moment. We trust that at some point things will change. The author of this psalm, this poem in the Bible, reminds us of seeds and the time that they take to grow. Yes, we might feel sad. We might be sowing seeds with tears. But we trust that in the fullness of God's time, we will know joy. We will see life. It's okay to feel sad at the situation we see unfolding around us. But let us be those who sow seeds, seeds that will, in the fullness of time, bring joy, bring life. Joy to ourselves, yes, but also joy to others, life to others. So I wonder, what can we do, perhaps even today? What seeds can we sow? How will we bring joy to others now and in the future. A prayer of blessing. May the Lord bless you and watch over you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.